to this reception given by the ambassador uh, and the Republic of Colombia to the museum. You're standing, as you can see, in one of the great rooms of the museum, uh, showing one of the great monuments of the ancient Mediterranean world from Western Turkey, where the world of Italy and Greece met the world of Iran and the Indus Valley, and the cultures coalesced. It's emblematic, of course, of what the British Museum was set up 260 years ago to do, to let the world look at its history, think about its present, and see the connection. And when the museum was created in 1753, one of the great areas of the world about which all Europeans wanted to know more was, of course, the Americas, and above all, of course, South America, and above all, of course, about the gold of South America. The myth of El Dorado, the golden man, the golden city, the golden country, obsessed, I think it's not unfair to say, the European imagination. And it must be said it also gripped the British Museum. Just over 100 years ago, the British Museum was part of an expedition to drain Lake Guatavita in order to find the wonderful gold objects that must lie at the bottom of the lake. And when you go into the exhibition, you can see the fruits of that drainage. Um, there were wonderful objects, but not many of them were gold. And in our quest for the gold of Colombia, the gold beyond El Dorado, it has seemed to us more sensible not to drain lakes across Colombia, but simply to ask the Colombian embassy to help us arrange a loan from the Museo del Oro. And the generosity with which that loan has been made, the support from uh, the ambassador, the support from the Museo del Oro and from the government uh, of the Republic of Colombia has been exemplary. What you will see upstairs is the first opportunity for the public in London to grasp the scale and the sophistication of the cultures of Colombia before the Europeans arrived. And we are extraordinarily grateful for this opportunity to be able to present a key part of the history of humanity in such splendor. The response has already been enormous. The press has been enthusiastic. The media have been clamorous. And the public are coming in very large numbers. And it's a great pleasure to be able to say thank you to the ambassador. Also a great sorrow, because as many of you will know, the ambassador is about to leave us. Um, and he leaves behind relations between the UK and Colombia in a happier state than I think they probably have ever been, um, with growing public engagement, growing public understanding on both sides, and a growing desire in the UK to find out more about your country. So, Ambassador, thank you very much for allowing this to happen in the British Museum. And thank you for allowing the public in London to see a great part of your country's history, but their shared patrimony. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good evening. It is a great honor for me to welcome you all tonight to this special viewing of the most astonishing cultural expressions of my country. As Colombians, we are very proud of our rich indigenous heritage. So we are delighted that the British Museum 
has decided to showcase wonderful treasures of ancient Colombia, displaying 100 pieces from its own collection, as well as 200 objects on loan from the Museo del Oro in Bogotá, made in gold, tumbaga, ceramics, stones, textiles, shells, and feathers. I wish to give our special thanks and congratulations to the British Museum director, Neil McGregor, and to the exhibition curator, Elisenda Villalonch, for putting together this extraordinary exhibition that presents imaginative artworks of our marvelous pre-Hispanic cultures. Tonight is my last official act as Ambassador of Colombia to the United Kingdom, as I will soon return to my country to advise President Santos on the peace process and poverty eradication programs. So I wish to take this opportunity to thank all the Britons and Colombians who have helped me, my wife Suhey, and my excellent team to strengthen and diversify our excellent bilateral relationships over these past four years. Suhey and I leave London with immense admiration and love for this great nation that has made and will make many very significant contributions to culture and global progress. I hope that this amazing exhibition will inspire you and many others to search beyond the myth of the ruler, the whole city, or the kingdom covered and made in gold, and visit Colombia so that you can experience the magic of our beautiful country. Welcome to Beyond El Dorado, power and gold in ancient Colombia. Thank you. <laughs>